If you've ever had to create multiple worksheets that contain multiple pivot tables to summarize different pieces of data, then you're going to want to watch this video because I'm going to show you a super quick way to create multiple worksheets containing multiple pivot tables. This is a really great time saver tip, so don't you even think about clicking away. So in this example, we're going to be using my good old pizza sales data. And this really just shows different orders that have come into a pizza restaurant. Now, the important column here is this pizza category. You can see here that I have four different pizza categories, chicken, classic, supreme and veggie. Put that information to the back of your mind because it's going to come into play in a few moments once we've created our pivot tables. So let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. We have all of our delicious data currently in an Excel table. And that's something I always advise you to do before you put it into a pivot table. It just makes it a lot easier to update. So we're at the stage now where we can create our first pivot table. So let's click in the data. We could go up to the insert ribbon and choose pivot table, or we can go to the table design ribbon and choose summarize with pivot table. These are both gonna take you to the same place. Now, I haven't named my table, which is a bit of a schoolgirl error, so it just has the generic table one in there. It's fine in this example, we're just going to leave it. And I want to put my pivot table on a brand new worksheet, so let's click on OK. So now I have my pivot table fields. Notice I have these as a little pop out window that I can move around. More traditionally, you'll see this docked all the way over to the right hand side of the screen. And that might be fine, but sometimes I just prefer it to be a bit closer to my data so we can simply drag it out. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to summarize my data by order date in the rows and let's do total price. Now, notice when I selected order date, Excel's automatic grouping came into play. You can see now, in addition to the order date field, I also have a months field in here as well. And that's because Excel's taken a look at my data and it's worked out that if we jump across to pizza sales, the order date column is basically showing every day the orders have come in. So it's applied this breakdown so that I can summarize in a little bit more detail. Now, in this particular scenario, I'm only really interested in the monthly figures. So I'm going to remove the order date field and just leave the months in the rows. Now, I'm just going to quickly apply some number formatting. So let's make this currency format and I'm going to say zero decimal places. Now, if you recall, I mentioned right at the beginning that the important field in our data set was that category field. So if we take a look through our different fields here, we have pizza category. Now I'm going to drag this to the filters area. So when we click the drop down, we can see those four pizza categories. And this is really important because this filter area is the basis for creating all of our worksheets. Whatever you want to create worksheets for needs to be the field in the filters area. So my boss has asked me to create a new worksheet for each category. So I want one called chicken, one called classic, one called supreme and one called veggie. And the pivot table should summarize the sum of total price for each of the months by that particular category. So now I can do this very simply using one of Excel's pivot table options. Let's click on the pivot table analyze ribbon and in the pivot table group, if we click the drop down next to options, notice we have this cheeky little option just here, show report filter pages. Now, when I click this, the magic is going to happen. Keep your eyes down on where my worksheet tabs are, because as soon as I click show report filter pages and choose pizza category, like magic, it's going to create all of those worksheets for me. So I'm currently clicked on the chicken worksheet and notice the category selected in the filter is chicken. If I go to classic, the category is classic that's been selected in the filter and all of my values are relevant to that pizza category. So this is a brilliant method to use if you need to create lots of different summaries quickly based on the information that's in that filter area. And if everything I've gone through there is all a big mystery to you and you're not even sure how to create a pivot table, then click on the link that's going to be somewhere up here, either there 
or there and check out my comprehensive pivot tables in under 15 minutes tutorial. If you like this video, if you found it useful, then you know what to do. Smash that like button, maybe consider subscribing and I will see you next time.